So about 10 years ago, I made a video unboxing my iMac, which has obviously now become a little bit outdated. And I decided recently there was a really good sale on the studio display, and I will put the link to where I got mine down in the video description if you wanna check it out. It was such a good deal that I really had to just go ahead and get it because for a while now I've wondered what's holding me back from just getting a nice display and connecting my MacBook to it instead of continually buying these iMacs, which I love, but they really date themselves quite quickly and there's no way to just use them as a monitor that I know of after the software becomes outdated. This is the back of the box and then you just saw the front of the box. I'm gonna go ahead and Take this thing out. So let's go ahead and see what it looks like when you first take it out of the box. Hopefully I'm doing this right. Maybe there's something on the bottom here. This is one Apple product I'm not entirely sure how to unbox. Oh, the little handle strap was keeping it from being opened. Uh, this is just kind of insane. Um, okay, so I'm assuming Apple wants, you, wants me to do that. It's got little arrows pointing outward. The box kind of opens on its own. This is the display I'm now realizing. Wow. So if we look in the back here, we've got a pack that has the lightning connector, um, the display connectors in here, and then we've got the power cord probably right there, which one thing about this is the power cord is built in. So that is one complaint a lot of people have that you cannot change out the power cord if something were to go bad, but this is gonna be staying on my desktop and not leaving the room, so I don't really see that being an issue. Okay, I just plugged it in. We're gonna take this off. This is a big display. Okay, I finally got the display working. I don't know why, but I had the wrong cords connected. So basically I needed to connect, for those of you that are doing it this way, you will wanna connect a charging USB-C into your MacBook. If you're doing it with a MacBook, connect that into the computer slot on the back of this, and then connect the display to the slot beside of it. Uh, I'm gonna try and show you without <laughs> taking everything out. If you're going to be using a dock like I am, which is one of the main reasons that I'm doing this whole setup. So down here, we've got the Mac plugged in, and then beside it, we've got the Apple Studio display. For some reason, no one has a video showing how to do that. And I guess it should be common sense for a lot of people, but I was actually trying, I had this plugged in with the adapter that came with my MacBook, but if you plug that in there, as you can see, that's just a charging port. It's not going to deliver any information over to the dock or the display. So just that little bit of information that I threw in right there. But look at this. I love how the display looks. I'm gonna have to get me a longer cord for that because I plan on putting the Mac over to the side. And the one it comes with isn't that long, which I should have read uh, the length of it before purchasing so that I could have ordered a longer one. But that looks so good. I'm really happy with it so far. 10 years of using my iMac as my display, and now I'm using the Apple Studio display. Be sure to leave a like on this video, subscribe if you haven't already, because you're definitely welcome here. Comment and let me know if you have a similar setup. To me, it just makes sense to buy a desktop tower or a device like a, a MacBook and connect it to a display and continually upgrade the MacBook instead of continually upgrading the iMac, which you can't do because Apple solders everything into them now. But that's where I'm at because I just think it makes more sense upgrade wise. Let me know what you think in the comments and I'll see you guys later.